Okay, I finalized the design. Uh, we took a look at this. Took a look at the uh, shift register. Here's the uh, AT Tiny 85. Going to do the work. Uh, I did uh, create some new footprints and packages and stuff for this uh, LED. I couldn't find one in, in the KeyCAD's library, so I created one here um, for the... Uh, for the display. Um, now, the this is a common anode. The anode comes out on pin eight and pin three. My layout looks better if I just use pin eight, so I didn't even use pin three, didn't matter. So I did that, and again, it's a 32-bit shift register. Uh, I went and looked at my junk bins, and I had some of these nice uh, five-volt regulators, so I'm gonna use one of those. I'll show it to you in the layout. So anyway, there is my whole there's my whole uh, deal. So let's take a look at the uh, actual PCU board. So here's how it turns out. Um, so let's see, let me turn off a couple things. Um, so again, it's laid out to go right onto that attenuator, all the spacing, everything, and all the transistors over here on the left, the shift register is in the middle. Um, and then the displays, uh, I put these parts sideways so they all have uh, good connections up to uh, for for easier routing to the uh, to the LEDs, which are up here. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, I added the power supply section. So these are the little SO. Oh, I forget what these things are called. They're a power package, but they're st they're surface mount, and they have a big tab on one end. And so I went ahead and put in a uh, copper pour here to act as a heat sink. So it's a five volt. The backside is gonna be ground. And this one little area here is some copper just for the heat sinking. Ends up being five volts, but um, I went ahead and put on the uh, capacitors just right on the edge of the uh, <laughs> edge of the heat sink there, why not? So 12 volt comes in, it gets, uh, it gets filtered here. And uh, then the 12 volt gets turned into five volts. Um, and then the 12 volts goes over on its merry way to the attenuator. So there you go. Let's take a look at this in uh, 3D Viewer. Looks pretty nice. Um, one of the more complicated boards I've done lately. Uh, yeah. So this is a through hole part because I won't be able to plug it in and out on a socket to program it. Um, and then, yeah, here's... Uh, Here's everything ready to go. I like it. And on the back side, of course, we have MSA Dog. All right. And I made the board a funny shape just because. Why not? All right, well, here you go. There's the uh, front copper. Here's the back copper. And uh, yeah, it's all, all ready to go. We'll uh, send it out to uh, PCBWay and have it made. See if it works.